Hey guys, this is XFox here, and again, this is going to be another tutorial on Gray's Pass on how to basically get all the way into the caves and get up to the final boss here. Now, it, as you, I, I've always said, I definitely always use the uh, the dwarf again. One for his power, and two because of his rage. Uh, none of the other characters have any moves like it, so uh, with his rage, you can pretty much uh, tank any of the guys here, regardless of their strength. So you can see right now, I'm basically taking a lot of damage, and all the archers that are hitting me while Rage is on, uh, they take the damage back. So again, you don't need to be there. Basically, they'll they'll take damage if they hit you with your Rage on. So some of these new human guys here are, you know, pretty tough. And uh, all I simply do again is don't run in too far. If you'll notice, a lot of the, uh, the archers and the mages there will actually kill their own guys. You can see they're getting hit by their own guys there. So I try to stay far enough back and again use the dwarf to really tank a lot of the damage or as much damage as you can do. The dwarf is down! Quickly help him! And definitely the guys with the shields. If you can break their shields, you can, but a lot of these guys with the metal shields, you simply just gotta hack and slash them. And then when the uh, critical hit strike comes up, go ahead and knock him down and give him one in the chest. Then of course, if you need healing, let uh, let your caster cast your heal, and you can just simply, uh, you know, bow up, bow and arrow these guys to death here. So be careful; these casters are pretty strong. If you got two of them attacking you, as you guys probably already know, it's very difficult to get past them if uh, you got two of them just blasting you away. So I'll go ahead and catch, cast Rage right there and try and blast this guy up. Again, the archers don't do much damage once you get really close. And typically when they're up there, a lot of the times you can hit the uh, the structure they're on and the structure will actually fall. So for some reason I kept hitting this one and I couldn't make it fall. So, uh, you know, I just decided to go ahead and give her give him my, uh, a crossbow right in the head. So I did notice this guy up there. We have need of you. However, I could for some reason I couldn't see him, so uh, I tried taking out the lower section because of course you see the wall right there, and that's going to be a uh, hidden area. So I wanted to go in there and see what they have. So again, if you guys see any of those on the walls like that where these cracks are, it's a hidden area. So you go ahead and bust it open and go in. Typically, there's good stuff in here, but a lot of the time it's not all that great. So I think when uh, I went in here, I got some gold nuggets as well as I think a uh, tunic, I believe. Okay. Yep. So I got a good, I got a good tunic right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll out. Uh, right up here, I'm going to equip it, but I go ahead and just really just pause it uh, so you guys don't have to see me equipping or looking at my new items. I think the tunic that I received there was not greater than uh, or better than the one I currently have, so I went ahead and tried it. Didn't look good, so I go ahead and continue on. So we just passed the first encampment. Again, it's not too difficult as long as you stay back and you let the archers basically beat up on their own guys. And what I kept noticing here was a lot of these guys would actually run right by me. They wouldn't even hit me, so uh, I took full advantage of that and just kept slamming them with uh, the dwarves and some of his power moves here. As you notice, the archers, for some reason, completely just ignore my guy here. Shouldn't have casted Rage. I should have just went up and just power slammed that guy that was on the ground. Uh, as you come around this corner here, you're going to see that, uh, there, yep, there's a bunch of guys right there. And for some reason, again, they pay no attention to my guy. Definitely if all four of those guys were coming, they would have smashed me. But so what I go ahead and do is I notice that, yeah, they all just don't even worry about me. So I go in. I pretty much just go ahead and just start hacking and slashing while they focus my other guys here. You can notice that guy doesn't, doesn't even hit me. 
leave in the comments and really let me know if this has happened to you guys here where they basically ignore you and they go for your other guys here. Really, you can see the only time I get hit is when he does sort of his AoE sweeping attack there. So, yeah, you can see that's pretty simple right there to kill these guys again because they really don't even pay focus or any attention on me. So now the only guy left up there is going to be the, uh, you know, just sort of the, uh, the mage guy. But I bow and arrow him out of, uh, out of range, so he's going to sweep back around the top. This will probably happen to you guys. And what's cool is you'll actually end up going on that railway up there. So we come here. This guy completely ignores me. He doesn't even really see me. Go ahead and finish him off. It's going to be a few mages up here. Or this is actually, sorry, the same mage that we shot uh, pretty much up top earlier. So here, basically, we're going to swoop back around and go on the top of the bridge. Basically, the same thing that we just went under. And now, this gets a little tricky here when you're going to try and cross this bridge. Um, I recommend trying to, you know, trying to uh, use your crossbow or bow and arrow as much as you can here to fight them off. Especially those bigger guys there. They're really vulnerable to that. And those are the real tough guys to get when they're coming in. But the guys right here with the... Uh, uh, the guys right here with the uh, with the shields and stuff, when they do that ram, they're pretty vicious. So, again, you can see they're completely ignoring my guy, so I go ahead and throw a rage. And I'll just basically beat up on all these guys here. Go ahead and kill them. Okay. And you can see, again, this guy. Uh, usually they should come towards me because I have rage on, but for some reason they're not. And here they actually come in waves, so they don't come all at once. So here, you can pretty much just single the guys out as needed. And see, strangely enough, even with Rage on, is now when they come and attack me. Actually, he didn't even attack me there, he went with the other guy. Now we've pretty much killed the bulk of them here. The only ones that are going to be left, I think, are a few archers. You can kill those guys pretty easy. I'm sorely hurt. Aid our friend. Double quick. So here I was going to turn around because I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but I knew they'd be able much to help. Much appreciated, friend. So as I'm getting closer to the front of this cave. You can see these guys completely ignore my guy here and don't even go for him. And they actually run by me. They just let me basically free hit him here. So I do get a couple couple free kills here without even the uh, without even them coming to get me. And this guy right here doesn't even turn around to hit me, so I just simply uh, mop him up a little bit there. But the strange thing here is I, for some reason, I couldn't land that killing blow. So I try to swing around to the side here then beat him down, then he's dead. So, not sure again what was going on here. A lot of these guys could not attack my guy, so I simply still go back in, get these free hit guys. They don't even go for me. Cut off that dude's leg, and now we're actually ready to go into the internal cave. And here I didn't record some of the easy stuff just walking through. I only recorded right to the battles. Um, a couple of these guys right here might be a little bit difficult for you depending on who you're playing. So what I definitely recommend right here is these guys are almost similar to the Urukai who have sort of the same weapons. They do a lot of AOEs like that. So even though they weren't aiming for me, they still got me. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw on Rage so you can't be knocked back. And go ahead and try and finish them off. You can see these guys are extremely tough, just like the Urukai guys. And of course, when those guys start blocking, all you simply got to do is throw a heavy attack and it'll knock their block. So of course, always check these hidden corners. I think I went back here, nothing that great. So, you know, other than uh, some of the gold nuggets. 
didn't even want to break those there because I know, you know, 90% of the time there's nothing in it. So this time I'm going to run up and go up the trail here. And it basically just swoops around towards the top. So here you can see again, he can, for some reason they completely ignore my guy. So I take full advantage and just do a bunch of free blows there. And you can see even if I throw on Rage, for some reason uh, he ignores my guy and runs for my other guy. So again, as the dwarf, free reign. This is one thing, uh, there might have been a glitch in this, uh, in this level as playing as a dwarf. So if you guys are having a tough time with the other characters, yeah, definitely play the dwarf here and try to uh, see if you can mimic the same functionality that I have. Or leave in the comments and let me know if you guys experience the same thing here. So that was a pretty cool double hit right there. So this cave is pretty much going to go in. It's going to hook around. As you can see, this guy completely runs past my guy. He doesn't even focus me, so I'm going to go ahead and just beat him down a bunch here. This guy here doesn't even focus me, so I go ahead and beat him down. So here's another strange part where they do not focus my guy. You can see as you hop down this ledge here, you can't go back up. So I drop down. Here come, you know, two guys. These guys should have been able to beat down my guys really, really easy. But you can see they run right by my guy. So I basically can sit here and hack and slash at them while they're trying to run and capture my other two guys. These guys are super tough. These Urukai guys with these big sledgehammers. Very, very difficult to kill. A lot of hit points. So here, this is going to swing around. It's going to go up, basically swing around. You basically could look at the same place that you were uh, trying to uh, get across the bridge before. Shouldn't find anybody here. Basically, I shouldn't even grab these since we're just a few... Uh, uh, arrows there. So here you're going to come out to another main area. This is where sort of another, I guess, big bulk of, uh, of Urukai and human guys are at. So here you'll notice again, even though I'm there and I throw rage, for some reason they run right by my guy. And that's exactly what I want them to do because, again, their archers and their mages are going to be hitting their own guys, causing a lot of damage. Um, It'll help basically, basically your damage output here. Yep, so I go ahead and beat up as many of these guys as I can. You can see we got a couple more orcs coming, but for some reason, again, they run right by my guy. Even though I throw a rage on, they basically go for everybody else. Pretty easy, he didn't even touch me. And again, these guys go for my other two allies, which gives me basically free reign on him here. Then of course one of them runs inside there. And again, he doesn't uh, target me at all, so it's just free reign. I can just basically beat him up as needed. So now that we got all the ground troops pretty much done, right here what happens is uh, you just got to go and kill all the archers here, or, or, all the archers and mages, which is the one of the reasons why you do not want to run forward here, because if you run back, all the mages and all the archers basically target their own guys and deal a lot of damage to their own players here. Take refuge here. I will shield us from their arrows and bolts. So you can see, pretty easy to get through the actual caves. Um, again, I wasn't sure if it was a glitch on uh, on their side where they never ever focused me. So after you're done here, you're going to go through this gate up here to your right. And this is where you're going to fight the actual boss of the stage. And uh, I'll have that in another video, probably right after this one. So let me know if you found the same glitch in the stage where they didn't target you. Definitely leave your comments and let me know your strategies uh, that you guys use to beat this level.